in my day, it was emergency. Um, that was an awesome show. Used to, I couldn't wait for Saturday night because that came on like from seven to eight or something like that. And every Saturday night I sat in front of the TV and waited for that show and I watched every minute of it. And now I watch the repeats <laughs> on the classic TV channel. <laughs> My name is David Moore. I've been a firefighter down here in Iconquit since 1989. I volunteered before that for, I don't know, five or six years. I've always been in, involved in the fire department. Um, my father and my grandfather were both members down here. They were both volunteers. Um, so I spent a lot of time here as a kid. Um, there a lot of younger kids um, back then, and we all kind of, I don't want to say hung out here, but... We, we spent a lot of time here at the station, so I, I knew it was something that I wanted to do when I grew up. But I did spend four years in the Air Force as a um, firefighter and um, received a lot of specialized training in the Air Force. And that some of that relates to the, to the um, civilian world. A lot of people think we just sit around all day waiting for the bell to go off, but um, we, we are out doing public education um, we, we do a, a ton of training. There are a lot of state, local, and federal um, rules and regulations that we have to have to apply to, uh, and um, it's it's just constantly training. We um, we do physical workout every morning. Um, we do station maintenance. We do truck maintenance. We we check trucks every day. Um, to make sure they're ready to go, um, work on equipment, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. We're always we're always prepping to 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 go. Well, we're all kind of assigned um, duties ahead of you know wh where where are you riding on the truck that day, um, who's on the ambulance, who's going to be driving it, who's going to be taking the medical calls in the back. So everything's um, you know we, we know that at the beginning of the shift. Last two summers ago, we delivered a baby, so that was that was the first time ever. So that was kind of a big deal. The cliche, yes, we we do get stuck cats out of the tree. <laughs> if we're asked to, we will. A lot of times, um, the cat gets down by itself. You've have you ever seen a cat skeleton in a tree? Well, no, that's because they always seem to get down. This was quite a few years ago. There was a a big kid that worked here and um this cat was way up the tree and we brought the ladder truck up and he went he went up the ladder and he tried grabbing the cat to bring it down and the thing wanted no part of him so somebody handed him a cardboard box and he went back up there and he grabbed the cat and he stuffed it in the box well when he stuffed it in the box all they did was kind of fold the bottom so when he shoved it in the box the bottom the bottom of the box blew open and down came the cat and then he looked down the ladder and said Cat's down. And so there's, there's one of your crazy stories. <laughs> well, it was um, established back in 1901, and um, it was strictly volunteer up until um, 1989 when we started our own ambulance service. Um, and that's when the need for the paid firefighters started. Um, and it's been growing ever since. I mean, it was a, a little station and with just a couple doors out front. Now we've got doors on both sides and a whole second story on. So it has certainly grown over the last. And a lot of this was done, um, I guess, about the mid-70s. They started really expanding around here. And here we are today. And we need to grow a little bit more. We seem to be running out of room. So there's eight paid people on at a time, or eight paid people here, and then the rest of it is um, volunteers. And we have a paid chief also. There's, a, I think, a half dozen active volunteers. We, we rely heavily on um, mutual aid departments to come and help out. We, we, go, we go to Wells, York, and South Berwick, and some of the, the, the towns that border Agunquit, their firehouses are so far away that we get there, and you know we can get there and um, usually take care of the, the problem before they even arrive on scene. When they need help, they call us. So, And when we need the help, we call them.